Joel, welcome to Greece. Uh, first things first, uh, this is a complete change of scenery for you. I mean, in every possible aspect after three and a half years with Ceseca Moscow. So how, have you, how well have you adapted to your new surroundings? Thank you. Thanks for having me, um, first and foremost. But yeah, I've adapted very well. It's nice to be here. You know, I've only been with one other team um, so far up until this point. So coming to Greece, we play Olympiacos, Panathinaikos, and, and that's it. So we were here two, three times a year, maybe, and we loved it. Um, but yeah, being here full time with Olympiacos is exciting. I've transitioned very well. The, the team, the managers, um, the players, the coaching staff, and everyone else that's a part of Olympiacos has welcomed my family and I with open arms. They've helped make this transition uh, very smooth and very easily. As far as the weather, when I was in Moscow and Russia in general, um, I was actually used to it. You know, I got drafted by the Utah Jazz, being in Utah for my college career, and then an additional season with the Jazz, I experienced the four seasons and it snowed a lot, so it was pretty colder, so I was used to the snow. And then when I went to the Milwaukee Bucks, it was even colder and even, even more snow. So coming to Moscow, I was kind of used to the winter, so it wasn't too bad. But yeah, like you said here, um, the weather is very nice, a lot of sunshine. You have the mountains, you have the sea, you have a little bit of both, and, and um, the weather is good for the most part of the year. You were at Tseseka, arguably the most championship or bust team in EuroLeague. Everyone says that. Kyle Hines has said that specifically, word by word, so many times that we've talked together. So you, you learn to work under, you know, uh, under pressure, under circumstances of uh, immediately getting results, uh, winning titles. And uh, how do you think that uh, helped you as a player? And what do you carry from this experience and these lessons to Olympiacos right now? Yeah, so first and foremost, like you said, when I was with Seska, the expectation there was to win every game. It didn't matter who we were playing. It didn't matter if we were playing um, a smaller team or, a, you know, we were the, one of the top teams. So if we were playing like an evenly matched team, it didn't matter. Um, the expectations was to win no matter what. And um, I learned a lot there. I learned, for example, like to be selfless, um, you know, because you don't go there to produce numbers like you get what I'm saying like sometimes you'll come into a situation they'll be like okay just go score the ball go average 15 20 points so going there I, I had my role for the most part um, I embraced my role I was there I knew what coaches wanted me to do there and um, ultimately the bigger picture it was to win championships so um, we worked well together and um, I enjoyed my four seasons there and what are the things that you bring to this team that mm -hmm. uh, it's not considered that championship or bust, of course, like uh, Tseseka, but let's be honest, the goal is to make the Final Four to win the EuroLeague, mm -hmm. especially after last season. Yeah, I will say this. The expectations here are definitely increasing more and more. Um, and you can really feel it from the guys. They want more from the coaching staff and management. They want more. So um, as far as pressure, I feel like, like you said, I've played in one of the most pressed situations, so I'm used to that. I can play under pressure and stuff. Um, it has made me into the player I am today, but um, I'm bringing athleticism. I'm able to switch onto smaller defenders, play great defense, I'm able to block shots, rebound at a high level, and offensively, I'm able to spread the floor, um, not only finish at the room, catch oops, you know, we have great passers. I can also spread the floor, hit the open shot, so I can do a little bit of both. Um, and I think I will fit well into this team and moving forward. And we played about eight games so far and I've been playing really well. So it's going to be a good year. What are the things that you think that you can bring now here that you and you think that you can show mm -hmm. that you didn't have the opportunity to show on Jessica? Mm -hmm. So I think the situations are different for sure. Coming here, like you said, I have more of an opportunity to show my skills offensively. Some of that will be shooting the ball more um, when I'm open. Um, around the arc, um, even may have some opportunities to score at the basket, back to the basket, use some post moves, stuff like that. From uh, one Greek coach to another right now. <laughs> so, I mean, it, it's, it's, it's very early. You are where you were youth coach to this for years, and now you are with coach Eros Barjokas. What are, do you find any similarities between those two? 
So honestly, it's completely different systems coming here. Um, the strategies and like tactics they use defensively and even within the offensive system, it's completely different. At Seska, it was more structured. We had a lot of plays um, here. It's kind of more free. We have plays as well, but it's kind of more read and react situations. And um, defensively, the, the principles are, are different. Daniel Hackett wrote, you will love it there on your Instagram and a photo of you from your arrival in Athens. You know, he was a massive fan favorite when he was, he was so loved by Olympiacos fans. Mm -hmm. And so was Kyle Hines. Yeah. So uh, did they tell you what to expect here? A little bit. Uh, some of the stuff you touched on as far as like the city, everything here um, from the basketball, you get the fan atmosphere. It's one of a kind, probably the best in Europe. Uh, you don't get this here anywhere else maybe some places but for the most part like it is here um, you don't see it a lot so that really kind of elevates your game um, so that's like a fun atmosphere to to play in and and just in in general this club has a lot of history um, they want to get back to winning Euroleague titles I think this year we have a, a pretty good team and going into the season I know we want to do better than we did last year so Back in February, you and uh, several of your Cheseka teammates, you left uh, Moscow some days after the war in Ukraine began. Can you take us as much as you can through what was going on in your mind back then during those days and mm -hmm. through your decision to leave the country? Yeah, so month of February, I mean, it happened pretty fast. Um, what initially began as just talks and threats literally escalated in like a week. Um, a lot of the stuff I won't be able to talk about, but just kind of summarize what happened. Um, you know, we had a team meeting with the players, the coaches, the strength staff, and pretty much the guys that were playing um, internally. And the management said we were free to go and they understand the situation. And they said, it's your decision. Um, they even said we can use our, at the time, our travel guy um, if you wanted to book a flight and they understand and let's stay in touch. So after that week, it was definitely a hard decision. I took a lot of thoughts into consideration. Um, initially, I wanted to, to stay, but you know, growing up in America, I was following the US embassy alerts and I just didn't feel safe um, based on the alerts they were putting out and the stuff that was going on and being released. So when it was all said and done, I decided to to leave, so I notified um, the head coach, the the president, and um, the vice president, and they told me word for word, we're always family. Um, use our travel guy if you want to go. Um, let's keep in touch, and you're free to go. And and that was it. Six guys ended up leaving, I think. Um, don't remember the exact number. I think it was six guys, but six guys left. I think three or f I think three of those guys ended up switching teams. Um, and then three other guys didn't. Um, I had one more year. That was my last year on my contract. I think two other guys had an additional year. So I was in a different situation than them. But yeah, um, ultimately decided to, to, to return to America um, for all those reasons I, 